Note, my stepdaughter Madeline was about a year old when I married her mother, Jessica. Madeline's father died before she was born. Madeline is currently 15 and she's rebelling for almost everything. She did something bad, so whilst picking her up, I set a punishment up for her. Then she said, you're not my dad, I don't have to follow you. Honestly, I got hurt a bit from that, but I understand that she didn't mean it and that she'd probably change. I just replied, I'm still your legal guardian for the next three years and as long as you're in my house, you have to follow my rules. That happened about two days ago. So our family was going grocery shopping when Madeline said, I'm hungry, I need food. I decided to be extremely cheeky and say, hi hungry, I'm not your dad. My son just started to laugh uncontrollably. My daughter was just quiet with embarrassment and my wife was berating me for not stooping down to her level. I honestly thought it was a funny dad joke and my son agrees. So am I the arsehole? I think this one's a tricky one because he, he has been like her guardian, her, you know, well, I'd call him a parent yeah. for 15 years. And I think teenagers always do that thing where they start acting out. Yeah. And I'm like, it's probably crushed him inside yeah. for her to turn around and go, oh, you're not my dad. So to me, he's, he's trying to make light of it yeah. by yeah. turning around and going, oh, hi, hungry. I'm, I, I'm not your dad. To make her aware, I think, that it's hurt his feelings. Yeah. Right. But then his wife's going, don't, you know, don't yeah, stoop down, down to her down level to like, and, you know, yeah. do this tit for tat. Like, let's not do this. Yeah, I don't think he should make that joke. No, I, I don't, don't think that joke's very appropriate. Like, if a dad, a bio, I know obviously he is her dad. He's raised her since she was, what, like one? Yeah. And she's, what, 15? Mm -hmm. But if a dad has died before she was born... I don't, I don't think you can make that. That's a very, like, tough joke to make. Yeah, I don't think I'd stoop down to no. her level. You kind of expect it with him being teenagers. Mm. You're going to yeah, get that at some grief. point. Yeah. But for him to be like, oh, I'm not your dad, I'd be like, oh. I just don't want to go when my dad's dead. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> <Just staring. laughs> right. My dad's dead, mate. Nice one. Thanks for ringing that one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that's like, oh. as a grown-ass adult to say that, I'm like, that's really shitty. Yeah. That's for him to stoop down. I get why he's being berated because that's. I think that's a really shitty thing to do. I, I do. I think it's it's not nice. But equally, you know, if you've kind of if you've taken on a kid for fifteen years and treated that kids are kid kids, though, like you, I know, but you've treated that kid like your own daughter, and all of a sudden she's acting out because she's a teenager and she says you're not my dad. That must have absolutely crushed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah but he's so just stupid, he's, isn't he? He's got to take he, the higher ground on that. He yeah. has, but I'm kind of like, I, I, I get it. I understand it. I understand why he's saying it, and I don't think he's, I don't think he's going, ha ha, your dad's dead. No, like, yeah, he's, no, he's no I, don't, I don't think he's that. doing that. But I just, I don't know. I feel like it's a topic that I would just never go. I would never go there. You just avoid it. Yeah, completely. and as a full grown ass adult that he is, I'd be like, it's too sensitive an area. And yeah, it's clearly like there's gonna be a lot of like effects on the kids and stuff with this sort of information. Yeah, so I'd be yeah. Like, stay away from it at all costs. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. That works. yeah you're what did Reddit right. say? What were there? Ooh. What were there? Um, Everyone sucks. That was the outcome. Yeah. I could, I could go with that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Very yeah, true. Fair. Yeah. Sand. <laughs> right. <sighs> Sit back. Let's enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on tight. <laughs> I'll try to keep this short. I had a 1967 Impaler four-door that I bought in Feb 2019. A couple of months ago, I bought my first house that had a 2.5 car garage. I moved the car in and started tearing it down for a complete restoration. I had the body in one bay and the chassis in another, plus the whole garage filled with parts. About two months ago, my girlfriend came to live with me during this whole crisis and the whole time has hated that car. She wants to park in the garage, but I have two acres of land with a lot of nice places to park under shady trees or hell, even in the barn if it has to be inside. I tell her, tough luck is my house and it's not like I can just throw it back together real quick. Anyways, I was out of town for a couple of days on a business trip for the small local company I work for. When I got back, my girlfriend was all smiles, making me food all the time, doing all the chores, all that. I thought maybe she was just happy to have me home 
But then I realized that I didn't see her car in its usual spot. I asked her where she parked so I could make sure I mow the area and keep it clean. And she said not to worry because she parked in the garage. I asked how and she told me to go check it out. Turns out that while I was gone, she hired some people to come over and move everything related to that car, including the drivetrain, body and chassis and all parts and take it to the local dump slash scrapyard. I was absolutely dumbfounded. I had spent over 11k on that car, including new parts, services and the car itself. I told her that I was going to be taking her to court for that and she brushed me off like I was being dramatic. I told her that it's done between us and to pack her things and leave. I admit I was really angry, but I did end up getting a lawyer. And as I have all the receipts for all that money spent, and I have her on my house to security cam footage, letting the guys in and watching them take it all, I think I can win. Her family and friends are absolutely blowing me up saying it's just a stupid old piece of junk and that she cannot pay back all that money I spent and that I should just let it go. But I've been putting all my time and effort and money into that car for a year and a half now. And God damn it if I'm not going to get justice for what she did. So am I the asshole for suing my girlfriend after she had my 1967 Impaler project taken to the scrapyard? Oh. Ah. oh, I think she shouldn't have touched it in the first place. It's not her property. It's nothing to do with her. She just should have left it alone. I, I wholeheartedly agree with this yeah. one. I'm I, like, I, if I, it's, that's so cheeky to do that. I know. If, if, if it's like a passion project or yeah. like whether you like it or not, it's yeah. irrelevant because it's his project and yeah. it's his car and it's it's up to him what he does with it when it's his house. So I'm like, oh. And she can park like oh. in the barn under shady trees yeah. apparently, which sounds yeah. really yeah. nice. It's got a nice little bit of land by the sounds of it. So can park wherever she wants. You know, when, when he mentioned like in under a shady tree, I was just like, oh, warmth. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's winter in England at the moment. So like warmth sounds nice. Yeah, yeah. It does. and I think it's just, I just don't understand. I th- Suing her is wild. Yeah. That's a wild move. That I think wild. like being annoyed and angry is one thing, but then like suing somebody, like someone you've like been with, I'm yeah. like, that's ballsy, isn't it? Hold Imagine like me ball. suing you. Imagine it. If you got rid of my lead shirts, I'd just sue you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wild, wouldn't it? Just suing someone. It would be weird. But, but Americans like... sue everything for everybody. I've heard this a lot. Like Americans are big on suing out there and like taking people to court and stuff. Yeah, I have I just like made that hear, up or is that a like real you thing? I hear it more in like American stuff. Yeah, I'm TV, sure like it's drama, a thing. Like, like sue more over there. Sue his ass. Yeah. 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 Like, Judge Judy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Judge Judy and all that. There's a lot of like small trivial suing going on, I think. Yeah. I might have made that up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or just, <laughs> just patronize me and agree with me. But um, yeah, so I feel like it's wild to sue somebody for it. It is. Mental, I think manner. the only way he's probably done that is to recoup the cost of what is lost. Because if she can't afford to do I mean, I wouldn't do it personally. I'd just be like, yeah, I'm really angry. And I, I would kind of expect you to pay me the money back eventually. Yeah. But I wouldn't sue so, him. Um, no. That's going to cause a massive uprift. You're never going to get back together. You, that's just <sighs> done then, that relationship. I, I don't know what it takes to go through court to sue somebody to get that money back for the car. I feel like it's a lot of work. Yeah. Clearly, absolutely fucking hates her though. So. Yeah. Yeah, they clearly love that car. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's choosing the car over her. So it's kind of yeah. like, oh. I don't think he's the asshole at all. I think he's banged to rights. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I think if he wants to sue, then sue. My brother in law, Sammy, lost his home shortly after his divorce 10 months ago. He moved in with us and bought his twin daughters, Olivia and Sloan, 18 with him a couple of months ago. His sister, my wife, and I have one daughter, Zoe, who's 16, and she and her cousins aren't close, but get along fine. Olivia and Sloan have no respect for Zoe's privacy, none. They used to walk in her room and take everything they get their hands on. Makeup, phone, accessories, clothes, school laptop, etc. Zoe complained a lot and I've already asked the girls to respect Zoe's privacy and stop taking things. My wife and Sammy saw no issue with this. 
After all, they're girls and this is typical teenage girls' behaviour. I completely disagreed. The last straw was when Zoe bought a £60 MAC makeup kit that looks like a paint set that she saved up for over a month and one of the girls, Sloan, took it without permission and ruined it by mixing shades together while using it. I don't know much about makeup but that's what Zoe said and when she found the kit on her bed and was crying. I told my wife that she said she'd asked Sloane to apologise but I got Zoe a lock after I found out she was moving valuable belongings out of the house because of this incident. Sammy and his daughter saw the lock and weren't happy. The girls were extremely upset. Sammy asked about it and I straight up told him. He said, my daughters aren't thieves. It's normal that girls of the same age borrow each other's stuff. He said Zoe could easily get another makeup kit for 15 bucks from Walmart and shouldn't even be buying expensive adult makeup in the first place and suggested that my wife take care of this defect in Zoe's personality trying to appear older than she is. He accused me of overprotective and babying Zoe with this level of enablement. I told him this is between me and my wife but she shamed me for putting a lock on Zoe's door for her and her cousin C preventing them from spending time with her saying I was supposed to treat them like daughters and then demanded I remove it but I said this lock does not get removed until her brother and his daughters are out of the house. She got mad I was implying we kick them out and said her family will hate me for this. So I reminded her that I let Sammy and his family move in, which is something her own family refused to do. So she could not start shaming slash blaming them for not taking their own son and nieces slash granddaughters in. If it wasn't for her family's unwillingness to help, we wouldn't be dealing with this much disturbance at home. Everyone's been giving me and Zoe the silent treatment and my wife is very much upset over this. I think it's hard because it's obviously this Zoe's gone to a dad by the sounds of it and gone, all my stuff's going missing, all my makeup's being ruined by them. So he's kind of took it upon himself to go, you know what, I'm going to try and prevent this from happening. It's obviously upsetting her without causing a force. I'm just going to put a lock on the door. Yeah. So I think he's done right in doing that. And I get that teenagers do share the stuff, but if she's saved up her money for a month and she's been really excited about buying this makeup kit and they've just come in and just ruined it all, like nothing's happened... I understand why she's upset and I kind of agree with there's a lock on the door. Give her some privacy. You're coming into her home. Yeah. Yeah. You got to stick up for Zoe, is it? Yeah. Stick up for Zoe and get the lock on. Yeah. Because yeah. you need someone to stick up for if them two kids are doing all work, like messing everything up and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mac makeup ain't cheap either. No, it's not cheap. <laughs> I, I'd be fuming if someone had like ruined a mac makeup kit because they they are hella expensive yeah and with the wife going oh can my brother come and live with us yeah it's unfortunate he's lost his home but respect the boundaries yeah. respect their privacy you're coming into their home yeah my house my rules yeah, yeah absolutely i i get where like the wife's kind of between the two of yeah. them though. so the wife's trying to go well you know my brother's staying and it's nice for them to all play together and bond and things like yeah. that. But then obviously from a husband's point of view, he's going, that's fine, but they're literally destroying Destroy all the stuff. Yeah. stuff and they, they've got no boundaries there. And then when he's brought up, well, you know, they can go then. Yeah. It, it, it then all turns around to, oh, but they've got nowhere to go. And it sounds like they've been really nice letting them stay with yeah. him because yeah, and just the rest of the bit. family have gone well no we don't want them staying with us and yeah, yeah they're just yeah. taking advantage of the situation a little yeah, bit I yeah agree. i'd say not the asshole at all then no. by any means i feel like he's doing the right thing but because like you say you can have put a lock on the door or kick him out yeah yeah and the, you know trying the lock on the door and trying to help and appease and be nice yeah. to everybody yeah and if they don't like it then see ya you know where yeah. the door is yeah exactly <laughs> go live in a tent <laughs> <laughs> That is it for today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and we will see you in the next one. See ya!